don't miss any content don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell Manchester City faulted versus Leeds United losing 2-1 to them at home Manchester United are now seven points clear from third place Leicester City after they came back from one goal behind to beat Tottenham Hotspur a 3-1 Jose Mourinho and his team failing to get into the top four this weekend Chelsea got back to winning ways after losing 5-2 to West Bromwich Albion last weekend beating Crystal Palace 4-1 in the El Clasico Real Madrid edged it over Barca going on top at least temporarily after a 2-1 victory over their arch rivals the title race remains wide open it's now a three horse race with just two points separating first from third Inter Milan and Antonio Conte are now 11 points clear as Juventus are one point away from second place AC Milan. Welcome back to the channel as you I am your host Selassie Fiawe and it's time for the performances of Ghanaian players abroad. Andre Ayu and Swansea City got back to winning ways. A 3-0 win for them over the weekend. Andre Ayu equaling his goal tally for last season scoring his 15th goal with six games to go. They are fighting for a place promotion in the English Premier League and now it looks like they will have to settle for a playoff place after losing ground on the second place and Norwich and Watford are poised to gain automatic qualification in the Ghana Premier League let's have a look at the results and this is how match day 19 ended with Kumasi Asante Kotoko going on top after they are win versus break home Chelsea but this is a roundup of the results Ebusina Dwarfs drew 1-1 with 11 wonders on Friday Ashanti Gold beat Accra Hatofoku 1-0 a controversial penalty giving Ashanti Gold all three points Liberty Professionals beat Elmina Sharks 4-0 at home Inter Allies beat Carla United 2-0 Kumasi Asante Kotoko beating Brekum Chelsea also 2-0. Mediama beating Dreams 2-0. Legon City's ending Olympics amazing run and therefore removing them from the top of the table after their 2-0 win over them. Adriana Stars beat KV South 3-1 and Wafa beat Bechem United 1-0. This is how the table looks like. They are quite tight still. Asante Kotoko with 34 points. Great Olympics with 33, Karela with 32, Accra Heart of Hope with 30 after that loss, Mediama with also 30, Heart of Hope with a much better goal difference. Dreams are Sith. At the bottom, at the top bottom three are Liberty Professionals with 18 points, Kim Faisal with 18 and Inter Allies with 16 points. So that is how the Ghana Premier League was over the weekend. And this weekend, Kumasi Asante Kotoko will take on Accra Great Olympics. You remember that that game was a nadir of coach Maxwell Koneju and that led to his sacking and eventual appointment of Johnson Smith as caretaker manager. Will this be the point where we finally see that Mariano Barreto has come not to play but he means business? Well, we'll find out on Friday when the two teams meet at 6 p.m. GMT. Let's go through the performances of Ghanaian players abroad. And I'll start off from England, as I usually do. And Crystal Palace, they took on Chelsea, a 1-4 victory for Chelsea. Jordan Ayew played 76 minutes. And Jeffrey Schlupp came on in the 59th minute and provided an assist for the consolation goal, and which was scored by Christian Benteke. Millwall took on Swansea City, a 3-0 victory for Swansea City. Andre Ayew was on target. He opened the scoring at the end of the first half. He provided an assist as well for Jamal Lowe, who scored a brace. That made it a 3-0 win for them. Preston North End took on Brentford, and it was a 5-0 thumping of Preston North End by Brentford. Tariq Fosu played 79 minutes of the encounter. He assisted the third goal scored by Brentford in this uh, goal feast. QPR took on Sheffield Wednesday, a 4-1 victory for QPR. Albert Adoma came on in the 69th minute of the encounter. West Ham took on Leicester City. Daniel Amati was taking on off at, at half time when his side were losing 3-0. West Ham uh, beat Leicester City a 3-0. Two Leti and Nacho um, scoring the two consolation goals, and it was Jesse Lingard back to amazing form since joining West Ham United. Sheffield United took on Arsenal. Thomas Party played 90 minutes. He provided an assist for the third goal at Fort Alexander Lacazette. 
In Spain, Mallorca, they took on Lugo. It was a 2-0 victory for RCD Mallorca, Idris Uvaba coming on in the 76th minute. In Germany, Paderborn 07 took on Bochum. Christopher Enfriege was on target in the 73rd minute. He was sapped off in added time of 90. It was a 3-0 victory for Paderborn. In Italy, Spezia took on Croton. And Spezia beat Croton 3-2. Immanuel Jesse out in the first half after his side were well losing 2-0. Spezia won 3-2. They came back from two goals down. Ascoli took on AC Monza and it was Kevin Prince Boating not in the squad. Ascoli beat Monza 1-0. Inter Milan took on Cagliari. Alfred Duncan played 72 minutes. He was replaced by Koju Asamoa in that time and it was a 1-0 victory for Inter Milan which sent them 11 points clear. In France, Strasbourg took on PSG. Alexandre Jukou and Majid Waris both injured. It was a 4 one win for PSG. Mets took on Lille, a 2-0 victory for Lille here. John Boy played 90 minutes. In Turkey, Kekudi Sport took on Traps on Sport. Kalebe Kuban was not in the squad uh, for Traps on Sport. It ended 0-0, both teams drawing blanks. Angara Kuju, uh, they took on Genkle Barigi and uh, Joseph Painsel played 90 minutes of the encounter. Angara Kuju won 2 1. Erzum Ruspo took on Beshiktas. Bernard Mesa came on in the 61st minute, his Beshiktas side uh, winning 4 2 on this occasion. In Denmark, uh, Randes uh, took on Nordschelland and it was a brace for Kamal Dean Suleimana who has now overtaken the number of goals he scored last season after scoring his 6th and 7th goal with this brace. He played 63 minutes. Abu Francis came on in the 82nd minute. Nordschelland doing amazingly well in the Danish league. And in Netherlands, RKC lost 1-0 to Ajax. Kudus Mohamed came on in the 53rd minute as his side continued their winning run. So great news there for the Canadian players abroad. Andrea, you get him back on the score sheet. Kamal Dean with a brace proving he has amazing talent. Christopher Entry J as well was on target for his club side Paderborn. Great news all around, great performances all around. This weekend they go again. This week there is a Champions League to look forward to. Unfortunately, no Ghanaian is in there, but we'll so enjoy it nonetheless. Hope you guys are, have a great week. But let me know the games that you watched over the weekend that excited you over the weekend. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great week and have a great day.